Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Berathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor, and today we are in the Haunted Inn in Merkwood. So you might remember on the previous episode we we were bringing Masa through the Drownhold. Uh, sadly, Radir died a, a mysterious death, to be sure. But I don't think I don't remember the game ever clearing up who or what killed rather bottom line he is dead and now the golden no the golden who's not the hidden guard is without its guide so we'll need to find a way on our own here we are in the haunted inn resting for the moment there as you see here there are a lot of quests inside this area so we're gonna just pick them all up and see what can we do stay a moment you have been sent to aid us, and aid as you may, Melon. There are many tasks ahead of us, and our numbers are fewer than we would wish, especially with our scouts missing in the north. This forest is rife with poison-packed spiders, seemingly everywhere one looks. They spout from the Dread Weaver's lair southwest from here. You should defeat as many Mirkwood spiders as you can, Melon. They are ever a threat to the elves, and are our, and are our enemies of old. Might you spare a moment of your time? Hail, Warden. Welcome to our meager establishment. It is not much, but it is safer than the wild woods beyond that door. I hope you will be careful when you venture out again. A small party of our own went out to explore, and they have not returned. I will not deny that I am very worried for them. They espied the elf ruins to the north of here, which, if memory serves, was once the fair elven realm of Danninglor. They left some days ago, and I fear the worst. We'll just search for them and scout the ruins so that we know what we are up against. Be very careful. I do not wish you to meet the same fate as they met. Mind my words, traveler. I am glad that you have come to our aid, my good man. As our path leads us through Merkwood, we see many evil things which we wish to make right. Alas, that we have not the resources for such a great undertaking. Even the smallest good deeds must be often go undone, for our eyes are fixed upon the target only. Danninglor was once an elven home and is overrun now by shrieking beasts of all kinds. The Merville and Merville are violations of nature, and even the bats of his forest are unwelcome and evil. If you wish to make Merkwood a little better on behalf of the Galadrim who must pass through it, you should cleanse those ruins of the vile swarms of bats that give strength to the presence of the Merevile. Will you do this for us? Danninglor will never be fair again, but you can perhaps begin to cast the evil from within its walls. Will you lend me your ear? My Govanin, elf friend, and welcome to our meager refuge. You may tarry here if you wish, but I think you may be of some use to me ere we depart this place. Have you ventured north and beheld the ruined walls of the elves who lived here long ago? We ourselves have only espied them from a safe distance, but some of our scouts did go that way and have not returned. There are Merevile who live there now. All the signs are there, the filth, the intense evil in the very air. I suspect that there are great hordes of relics beyond those sinister walls. The filth of the Merevile dolls all things fair, but they care for treasures with the fairies jealously. I believe there will be memories of the elves among the foul refuse. Will you search the ruins for treasures of wood? These relics belong in the possession of the elves where they can pro be properly cared for. Will you lend me your ear? How have you found Merkwood thus far, Randir? It is not to my liking at all. Several of our numbers have gone missing on a mission to Danninglor. We know now that the place is rife with Merevile. If you find yourself there, you should defeat many of the Morbul slaves and see if you can learn of this Morbul nest. Any interesting relics you come across while in Danninglor would be of use to me in discerning the nature of these beasts. Just be cautious when you go, Beryathan. It bodes ill that our scouts are still missing. I worry very much that this particular mission will be perilous for you. Might I take a moment of your time? Hail Briathan, I have heard much of your deeds from my people and from the good elves with whom I travel. I bid you welcome to our encampment. You may rest here from the darkness, for the Galadrian keep it at bay. This is a strange place we have landed in. The shades here are troubled. 
If the necromancer had ruined this place, I do not think it would feel so disturbing. Nay, hey, some other factor played a role in the collapse of this village. The curiosity of the elves, however, is not raised by mortal affairs, and I am here to aid them. I cannot peer into the matter as I would wish, however. You are not bound to the Golden Host, Warden. Will you find out what has come to pass in this strange and troubled town? The shades stare as if roused, but they do not behave as most Oathbreakers do. I believe there is some grim history here that has been overlooked by every tale. There is a graveyard yonder. Perhaps you should begin your search there. Will you lend me your ear? Welcome to our temporary establishment, Meriathan. You may rest here a short while, but pray do not get too comfortable. There is a task I would have you do. Several days ago, our host split in two and half our numbers traveled south to explore the swamplands in the Drownhold. We have not heard from them since, but it is important that we establish some lines of communication with them. I do not think the distance is very far, but it will be a treacherous journey. There is no friendly creature in Merkwood Rander, not one. Lydriel will receive you when you find her. She travels among the southern hosts at Estolat Mernail. Might you spare a moment of your time? We have split into many factions in order to organize our assault on Dol Guldur. While we feel that this is the best way to plan our offense, we worry very much during those periods in which we hear nothing from our kindred while they establish their footing. It is not safe to send scouts out until we hear from the advancing party, so we wait. If you are going to Emilnum, will you keep an eye out for the host that march dance? They will welcome your presence gladly, for we are stretching every direction. Emil Loom is a dangerous wilderness to the east of here, closer to Dol Guldur. You should seek Fuergam, for he is a commander of that faction. Be wary, Breathan. Keep your wits about you. We do not know what evils lie yonder. Stay a moment. Do you hear the howling from the trees, Breathan? We hear them, but we cannot see them when they wish to be scarce. Nay, not even my long-sighted elf friends. The dark rage wolves of Merkwood are a vicious beasts and their attacks upon the Maladrim are ceaseless. While they are no match for the Elves of Lorien, I believe they are acting on more than instinct. They hurry us day and night and seem more bent on distracting our guards and archers than coming in for an actual kill. Such prey as we are not appealing to these beasts. I am not sure what motivates them, but I would see them hindered. You should venture into the dark stocks and remove the herring threat of these lie beasts. Please bring me as many hides as you can collect and I will examine them for anything strange. At the very least, the fairs will make hardy provisions for my kindred when I return to them. Alright, seems these are all the quests inside the Haunted Inn. And here down below, you will find Undurion for the epic. My elves prepare for another skirmish, a strike against the ruins of Dunnenglaw. My Govan and Bryathan, I have been charged by the Lord and Lady with maintaining control over locations in the western areas of this region. We have had nothing but success thus far. My Elbert may it continue. My elves prepare for another skirmish, a strike against the ruins of Dunnenglaw populated by filthy Merevile. If you are as skilled a warden as Kuhern has led me to believe, you will be most welcome to join us in this skirmish. That will be so if you command the loyalty of a skilled soldier. Alright, so... So yes, we need to help Dundurian with... Uh, with the skirmish uh, attack on... Right against Dining Glor, actually. So this Merkwood, the Merkwood expansion was the one that initially introduced the skirmish, the skirmishes to the game. And they were they were included with the epic. Some of the skirmishes were made part of the epic, which is a trend that didn't continue too much afterwards. But that's why uh, the, the battles in Moria, remember the Battle of the Way of Smiths, the Battle of the 21st Fall, the Battle of the Deepway, 
that's where the idea comes from. So we will find some skirmishes. We will need to do some skirmishes for the epic in Mirkwood and at the beginning of volume 3 as well, I believe. But afterwards, I don't remember uh, any more skirmishes being part of any epic. So now we have Spider Slayer. So as you see here, we, we have a lot of quests to do and uh, we can advance most of them uh, at the same place. So some of these quests will have you go to Dining Glor, uh, but I don't think you will be able to advance them if you go to Dining Glor to the skirmish version of Dining Glor. I don't think that's possible, so you need to actually make your way there and I think it makes a little bit more sense exploring Dining Lord first and doing those quests before doing the skirmish before actually attacking the place so that's what we're doing but other than Dining Lord we also have some more quests in other camps in other areas of the tower stocks that we will be doing as well so we have our hands full <laughs> By a lot, but that's better. I, I hope we can get to level 62 really soon so that I can get the master in the Merkibs. That would be really nice. I just want to double check in here. Because as you see here, we're almost done with Dark Before Dawn. Just need a couple more days to go. And you will stop seeing me spamming this gambit so much. Okay, so here we have it. Here is Dining Glor. And there you see a bridge. I think we can enter Dining Glor through this bridge. And maybe there is an entrance there on the south as well, but let us go and take the bridge. I think it's closer and a little bit more convenient. advance the quest but anyway system me please Dining Glory new deed uncovering the ruins of Mirkwood okay Check this deed really quick. Need to discover Dining Glor, Mythic, Mythic Hut, Kirin Kirion, Sad Morangol, and the Wild Ruin. We're already here in Dining Glor. So I, I don't remember exactly what all the quests were, but I remember them being five quests that we need to do in Dining Glor. And so far we have three on the quest tracker. I wonder 
what else can we do here in Dining Glory? Let me double check. Search near Dining Glory for the Maladrim Scouts. That's one, so we can remove the spiders and add the scouts in here. But no, it seems that's it. The scouts, it seems, are on the southern entrance of Dining Glory, so for the time being we can fighting the Mera Violin here. And yeah, as you see here, we already have hit the daily limit for today on, on this date. So that's why I love about this. It's so easy to complete. It was made easy, as I told you before. Previously, where you needed to be below 50% of your morale to use it. Oh no, of your morale, no, of your power. Uh, that was a pain. But anyway. I don't know why. But Irut is not as annoying as a stun or as a throwback, unless we're talking of course about the roots that the wood trolls like to do, because they will usually root you and move out of range. So that that one is really annoying. But the roots that the Merivile do, not so much. I didn't remember being to Danning Lore outside of this skirmish. I, I know that I have I have been very thorough with Merkwood on some characters, doing all the quests available, but I don't remember being here. And I am enjoying my time here a lot. It's a really tight area where you can find all the mobs and items that you need really close together. You don't need to do that much running around to, to get it all done. one quest and another one just missing the pressure piles and here is the last one I'm gonna remove this one There is an elf sword in here. Okay. 
think is use the remainder of, of the scouts. The blade surely belonged to an elf, but it lies near a great stain of blood. Yeah, that's all we needed to do for the moment. So, we need to talk to Mothalen at Ehat Mothalen, uh, find the gravestone, uh, defeat hiders, and defeat wolves. So we can at least defeat the spiders and the wolves before we return to the to the haunted inn. So that we can do a massive turning of quests just like as I like to do. Oh my god. Crossing my fingers to be able to get level 62 by completing all these quests, but I think that's a little bit unlikely even with the experience bonuses that we have so far. The the rest XP and uh, and the welcome back bonus. Um, uh, who knows? We'll see because there are a lot of quests that we are turning in. Just gotta find a way back to the haunted inn. So I think maybe crossing this the river here. Or maybe we can go to the tombstone. It's not, not that far. You did Dead Slayer. We have here. Eight some whites. One out of a hundred. It seems not all of these gates are hostile. Just I don't think so. Oh, well, thankfully there are also spiders and wolves in this area. Let's go to the graveyard. Um, need three of each wolves and spiders. Let me go, please. Okay, I think I see. Graveyard? I'm not sure. That is the rest circle. But that's not it. Uh, the graveyard should be really close by. Stone. Here lies Fredrigern, age 31, who perished from natural causes on July 2nd, 3rd age, 2461. Here lies Hakul, age 19, who perished from illness on June 30th, 3rd age, 2461. Here lies Beremut, age 41, who took his own life on July 4th, 3rd, age 2461. The fourth grave son is in here. Here lies Batigas, age 27, who fell to his death on July 1st, 3rd, age 2461. 
As you near this gravestone, you see that it is completely blank. And that's... Alright, that's... That's it, it seems. This graveyard is kinda spooky, so... I'm here, girly. Just ah! one more wall, and that's it. Ah! I hope we can find that wolf on our way back to the haunted inn. You are not far. Awesome, here he is. Let us go turn all these quests in and well, we'll continue those quest lines of course, but we also need to go to Ehat Matalan as well, which is not that far. But the Haunted Inn is just a little bit closer, so let us go there first. Outfit. What do you need? Ah, the skins of the Dark Rage Wolves. I thank you, friend. I am glad you were able to hunt so many without being haunted yourself. Now, let us see. Presta deer takes a hide and examines it long. It seems to be of interest to him, though you cannot perceive that it is anything extraordinary. Did you observe the strange pattern of the skin? There are subtle striations all over it, as if branded. I believe these beasts are in the service of the necromancer. Stay a moment. You have done well to thin the pack, Breathan, but still the creatures persist, and with more fervor than ever. They press closer and closer with every passing night. It becomes clear to me that these are no reckless wild beasts. Nay, I believe they are driven by some fell hand. Their efforts against us are not those of animals, but of a host of enemies rallying their defenses against an invasion. Surely someone from Dol Guldur has tamed this pack for their own evil purposes. You should try to draw him out, whomever he is. Go to the pack Howler's Hill, my friend, and see if anyone answers your summons. Greetings. Peculiar. It sounds as though all those who were buried around the same time died of different causes. Why would this place be haunted by oathbreakers if the dead were things like sickness and natural causes? And the blank gravestone does not make sense at all. The ages, too, give me doubt. These were young folk, the deads were so close to one another. Something is amiss. I wonder if there are more clues about the town. Might I take a moment of your time? It is a riddle indeed, and my curiosity is far from satisfied. While many of the shades seem hostile, surely some will not be so if you approach them in peace. What am I proposing, Beryatan, is that I hope you will make another try at uncovering the full tale behind this town. Cross the bridge into Autogheim and learn if any of the spirits will have words with you. I am sure there is a story here to be unearthed. I am most interested in the blank gravestone, but I would not be surprised if all were tied together to some strange event. With Dol Guldur's on ear, this town cannot have made a happy end. Might I take a moment of your time? I too am interested in what you had to tell of the graveyard. I find I am ill at ease in this place and my curiosity has been raised by your tale of the stones in the plot, in the plot below. The elves care not for the troubles of men long departed from this world, but they hold a great interest for me. East of here, across the bridge, you will find a town that fell long ago. I believe it was called Oragheim and there are many shades there. Hell spirits of the enemy do not trouble me, but I believe there is something more to this place and I wish to know what it is. Will you confront the shades? 
I do not think they are wholly evil. Perhaps they bear some knowledge that will reveal what befell this place. Okay, let us talk. Let us reforge all these items. What do you need? Thank you, Randir, for bringing me this. These tokens look to have been crafted by the beasts themselves, for they are very crude. This means that there is a leader among them binding them to a life of allegiance towards defending the roost. Mind my words, traveler. Now that we have learned a bit of the nest of Merivile in Dynaglor, I think we can take some action against them. Those tokens you collected were made by wine of their own. I am guessing this particular Morbul is a strong brute and you would do well to remove him if we are to secure Dining Glor against these beasts. I am sure he keeps well hidden. Hopefully, when you return to Dining Glor, you will find some way to summon him to a confrontation. I do not think he will be able to resist a direct challenge. Be careful, Bariathan. This is sure to be a dreadful challenge. How can I be of service? Good luck, Melon. You have our thanks for your efforts to pave the way for our offensive against Dol Guldur. This forest is still evil, but it is a place less so with every malicious spider that is brought to death. Mind my words. You have done well indeed, but you will not believe what report they have heard. One of our scouts returned and said he saw a deadly looking spider bearing a great burden, an orc that was unconscious from poison. This spider carried her prey in the direction of the Dread Weaver's lair, southwest from here. Will you pursue her there? I fear for our safety with such a monster roaming about, though I'll not hold her choice of foot against her. If you can read the Dread Weaver's lair of this menace, I do believe we will have secured the Dower Stocks against the greater threat of spiders, Bayathan. What can I do for you? Alas, this does not bode well. My fears are all but confirmed. Oh Bayathan, do you think there is any hope? Stay a moment. The Merevile at Dynaglor are deadly foes and I fear that my friends met their doom if facing them unawares. Their exploration thus far served one purpose, to prepare us for facing the threat on our northern side. You should go back to Dynaglor, this time armed with the knowledge you have gained from your Fex exploration. Cut down as many Merevile as you can and then report back to me when the way is clearer. If you can do this, we will equally be able to find my lost friends. I dearly hope that they live yet, but I am deeply troubled. Deeply troubled. What do you need? I am glad to see you well after your venture into Dynaglor, and not a scratch upon you. You have done a considerable kindness to all the elves of Middle Earth for your time. You have my thanks. How can I be of service? How odd. Was there really nothing of worth? Nothing at all? I was sure that the Merivile there were guarding something. I am still not convinced that there is nothing of worth there. Mind my words, traveler. This will not do. I believe that the most important treasures left behind by our brethren will be found on the Merivile themselves. You should return at once to Dynaglor and rest what you can from the hideous beasts. Be very careful, for the Merivale and Merivile are deadly foes. The ruins, as you know, are fraught with peril. You should defeat enough Merivile to get a sense of what sort of treasures they bear. When you have collected a fair number of relics, you should bring them to me. I will be able to tell more about the elves who were here before and perhaps discern some of the history of this place. Good, so... Before we go, before I forget, we'll need to... level up all this. So light damage, 40 off dead. Uh, DPS. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade to another sword when the base DPS of that weapon equals or it's greater than the one that I already have maxed in here, otherwise I don't see much of a point. Which is a fear, recklessness, kill gambit buff duration. 
Oh, why not? And now for the javelin. This one here. So, for this. We're gonna do this. Heal bonus for conviction. Little gambit line healing. Here, heal gambit damage. And DPS. Yeah, let us do DPS. Alright, so when I hit max level with this javelin, I will replace all my legendary items minus the two that I have equipped. But right now I don't want to lose any more time with that. So we're gonna we're gonna continue investigating the town and Dining Glory. So I think we'll leave a hat Matlin for later. Greenwood makes a lovely home. Wait, but won't you talk to me? Collect that fell looking coins. Are they? Oh, okay, I see the villagers I'm supposed to talk to, at least one of these. What will he have to say, I wonder? Who are you and why do you disturb our peaceful town? Why do you pry? We have nothing to hide. Our forest is fair and its resources plentiful. Our folk went for naught. Our folk want for naught. Leave us be. We are but simple woodsmen and have been so for many centuries. Many of our folk are set in their ways, but a little change has never hurt anyone. There is always room for our people to grow. And what better time could there be for us to grow and change for the better? The graveyard, you ask? What of it? Every mortal creature must die, and so we bury them as is our tradition. There is nothing unusual about Oragain. Now move along or you shall be sorry. Hey, well, as you wish. But first, uh, I need to defeat two more of this face. And after defeating them, I think we can go back to Dining Glory. These two quests. Well, let me see what else can we get in here. At Mothlin, okay. I'll in the heel. Master of the Roost. Howling in the heel. Let us go for this. Back to Dining Glory it is. Defeat Mervile, collect relics of interest and defeat the Marvel Guard. I can do that. Uh, 
Fight too bad. What's up with you resisting all my attacks? Here is the summoning horn. Here is the marble guard. Stop resisting me! Jesus! What's going on? Do I need more finesse? Is that what's going on? another one ah! oh god why are they resisting my attack so much I didn't drop the freaking relic are you serious What we're missing now basically is the wolf keeper and the lair spinner. Let us get those two guys really quick. You know what? But I have an idea. No, actually, let us go back to the haunted inn and let us turn in these quests. This layer inner um, is, is really close to a hot model, so I think it would work better if we if we do those two. But I think this quest line in Dining Glor and in Oragheim still has a new stage, so let us check that really quick. How can I be of service? Now, this is a bewildering find. 
let me see those. These coins, as you have surely noticed, are tokens of fealty to the necromancer in Dol Guldur. They are from nearly 600 years ago when this simple town of Woodsmen was filled with warm-blooded folk and not the cold spirits that linger in cursed rage. These were gifts and some pact was exchanged with Dol Guldur. What happened here? What cruel fate has made these people linger to fill the very air with such wicked threat? Would you do something for me? The Dark Lord has a remarkable talent for corrupting nearly all that is good, but even he cannot do mortal men to remain cursed after death by, uh, by association alone. Such a curse would only take hold for the deepest of betrayals when the hearts of men are willingly inclined to evil. Only by the greatest of powers can the spirits of men be held to this world. These tokens of fealty are surely only the beginning of the story. The necromancer persuaded his woods dwelling neighbors to swear allegiance to him, but what after that? I have my suspicions, one hears oft of such tales. You should search the rubble of the town and see if any history can be found. Perhaps there are records kept by these woodmen in the months preceding or following the intrusion of Dol Guldur. Greetings. Now that is a curious tale. Some points caught my interest as you convey the Shade's message. He spoke of fir trees as if he still sees Mirkwood as it was before the watchful feast ended. He also mentioned that his folk were simple, but that change seemed to be imminent. Based on the years on those tombstones, it is safe to assume that the Dark Lord's reclamation of his seat at Dol Guldur was the change of which he spoke. So the Dark Lord came, naturally. How did the Woodsmen receive him? We are getting closer to an answer, but it is a shame that the Shade did not offer the whole story. Would you do something for me? So we are armed at least with the knowledge that there is a mystery. The Shade's words were very contrary to the stark reality to which we bear witness today. There is much evidence that this accursed folk became tied to the Dark Lord in the second year of his sojourn at Dol Guldur, but we must now look deeper. We have given the Shades a chance to tell their own story, but it seems that they wish the truth hidden from us. You should search everything but the Shades themselves when you go to Watergain this time. Take some evidence of the Necromancer's influence and search for any signs of violence or perhaps a stockpile of weapons. If you can find these things, we will gain more understanding of the events that occurred here. May Gavanan. Wonderfully done, Bryathan. You have given us much aid in this dark and dreary place. Everything we do to combat the countless evils here plants a seed of hope. How can I be of service? You have done well, Beryathan. I believe we are coming closer to uncovering what happened to my lost brethren. Might you spare a moment of your time? You must make one final venture into Dining Glory, Beryathan, and this is the most important one. Pray do not return until this last hope is either verified or put to rest forever, for my heart cannot bear the suspense much longer. I need you to go back to the Morval Roost and search high and low for my friends, the missing scouts. You have proven yourself more than capable of battling the vile foes that wanders that place, and so I put my last hope in you. Three you went forth and three you must account for, be they alive or dead. Go north one last time, Randir, and do not leave until you find them. Well done, Beryathan, I see that you had more success this time. I should have guessed that the filthy beasts would have kept the dearest treasures for themselves for they have no wish to share among one another. Such is not the nature of these weak foes. Why, these are interesting. Mere crumb from the treasure that precedes them. I should dearly like to find the source. Such an object would be sacred in Lorien and would be properly tended and honored by the elves, as it was meant to be. Might you spare a moment of your time? These small treasures almost certainly came from a priceless elven creation. A treasure beyond treasures, and a gift to the memory of the elves who walked here once. Such a prize should not be left to be swallowed by filth and corruption. Once more, Verathan, I must encourage you to go on a quest for a relic of my ancient kindred. I do not think the acorn will have fallen far from the oak. I believe this greater treasure is still somewhere in Danninglor, waiting to be reclaimed by those who will return to its proper glory. Go to Danninglor once again if you dare. This treasure will truly not be unguarded, so go with care. You will have done a great deed for my kindred if you manage to return to me in triumph. Good fortune to you, Melon.
Okay, so I think we'll end today's episode in here. Next time, we'll continue investigating the Tone of Aragheim and looking for the scouts and treasures in Nanninglor. And hopefully we'll have enough time to go and do the other quests that we have as well. For the time being, this has been this episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Stay safe, my friends. Good luck to you all and I will see you later.